They seek to establish systems of government based on the regimentation of all human beings by a handful of individual rulers who seize power by force. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked zeitgeist of life making grown men crawl On their knees begging please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battles What's up folks, permanent patriot? We're gonna get to some real shit Cause I'm finding it hard to believe that somebody with an IQ of about 300 doesn't know this. Starting to fucking believe that I'm Truman. Does anyone know what a foundation is? Do you know what that word means? How about this phrase? From the foundations of the earth. What does that phrase mean to you? I know what it means to me. Let's check out some Bible verses. There's over 70 of them, by the way, that say the earth is flat. How many, do a search of how many verses say the earth is round. It matter, do a search of anything saying that the earth is round. How many fucking studies, how, how many books is it in that prove this to you? All I know is there's video upon video upon video. There's thousands of videos. And over 70 Bible verses that tell me it's flat. The only ones telling me that it's round are a bunch of kooky fucking scientists. Who, by the way, admitted that they were trying some magic thing, magic thing, with gravity. And we're going to get into that in a minute. Let's take a look at some of these. Which alone spreadeth out the heavens, and treadeth upon the waves of the sea. Clouds veil him, so that he cannot see, as he walks on the circle of the sky. Walks on the circle of the sky sounds like the firmament. But what the fuck do I know? Hast thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong, and is a molten-looking glass? In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form. Uh, last I checked, the circle, a sphere, was a form. But again, what the fuck do I know? And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Now, how would you divide light with darkness? With a fucking circle or like that? I don't know how you divide that. I never divided things with a circle, so I don't know. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Meaning there's an ocean on top of an ocean. Not even fucking three minutes in, I'm getting angry already. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Who covest thyself with light, as with a garment, who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, 
who walketh upon the wings of the wind. When he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep, is that he sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out as a heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Do I really have to go further here? I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth myself. I have made the earth and created man upon it. Even my hands have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. Mine hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I call unto them, they, they stand up together. And how many times have I told people, or has your preacher told you, that God has his hand over us? What, just us? No, it's the whole fucking universe. What the fuck makes earth special? And folks, I'm not, I'm not a flat earther, damn it. The earth is flat, and there's a dome over it. That's all I believe. I don't buy into their kooky fucking cosmology experiments that they got going on. The fucking flat earthers are kooky. Which is why everyone's making this out to be fucking kooky. Because of them fucking morons. The same way... They use the fucking term conspiracy theorist. The one who builds his upper chambers in the heavens and has founded his vaulted dome over the earth he who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth. That was just above the firmament. Let's go to below it. Pillars. Stretched out north. How many times have I told you there is no south pole? Because the North Pole is right in the fucking middle, which is why your compass always points north. Compassed the waters with bounds. Compassed the water with bounds. Meaning fucking ice walls. He looketh to the ends of the earth and see it under the whole heaven. I don't know how you could do that with a circle. Ends of the earth. I didn't know a circle had an end. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? I didn't know a circle was a line. Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Where are they put together, held together? Who laid the cornerstone? This is ridiculous. I can't believe I got to go through this like a fucking first grade class. The, the world also shall be stable, that it not be moved. We're not spinning at thousands of miles an hour, moron. Think about us spinning thousands of miles an hour, and, and never mind gravity, 
Just just leave gravity out. Gravity's got nothing to do with this conversation. We're spinning at thousands of miles an hour. Now think of what would happen. First of all, we'd all go flying off the fucking earth in different parts of space. You know, flinging us off. See, I can't even fucking smoke a blunt in the morning. Because that's when I look at my messages. And that's when I need to stay calm. I better take a minute. So, here's some more of that one. Uh, his command, not past his commandment. When he appointed the foundations of the earth. And he shall set upon, he shall set up and it and sign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. I didn't know that a circle had corners. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, stretcheth out like a curtain. See, and now do you see these? You think I might be saying the same thing. But these are different books, folks. Yes, there's different books in the Bible. Not chapters and shit like that. There's verses and books. For instance, Book of Daniel. Okay. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth. And the height thereof was great, the tree grew, and was strong, and the height thereof reached into heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains, the earth with her bars was about me for ever. Yet hast thou bright brought upon my life from corruption. So it's all for the, the folks, but then up here it says, um, now, earlier in the book, it says that, you know, they were running away from the thunder of his voice. And they ran into the mountains and ran down into the valleys. So, you know, I hope we all got, uh, I mean, what the fuck is this in Revelations? These things I saw, four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor any tree. He will go out to deceive Gog and Magog, the nations at the four corners of the earth, and gather them for war. They are as numerous as the sands of the seashore. Now see, it doesn't... Gog and Magog. It doesn't pick a particular one, folks. That is because we are all one. So, good and evil are both being deceived. They're keeping the evil people from being brought to the light. And they're, they're keeping us from helping them, you know. Uh, but if you ever saw... What Enoch's earth looks like. I mean, folks, look at just look at this, okay? The sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and has did not to go down about a whole day? Folks, when's the highest point of the day? Noon? Okay. Let's take a good listen. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Okay, don't worry about what this guy's saying. All you need to do is look at the picture. Here, I'll turn the fucking sound off. Oh, I'll leave it on. You see, folks? I keep telling you, there's one reason that NASA keeps a continuous photo. They keep showing you the same 
photo. Same photo. One photo throughout the fucking years, folks. And you're looking at it. The face of that fucking flat earth part right there. That's the picture that they show you. The circle. The earth. Looks like you're going to have to go into a second video here. Okay. Praise Yahweh. Have a nice day.